a factor first. Oh, I guess I need to beginning show the settings so people know that there's setting, certain settings that affect the gameplay and some timings in certain stages. So screen shake preference hit pause means uh, when you hit an enemy uh, you get this slow motion kind of thingy for the moment that you hit. You can turn that off it saves a lot of time and some cycles like laser cycles and such uh, change a bit. Then Text speed, I don't know if this really affect anything really because we skip text anyways, but you can use those. Then skip rewind on. That's also an important one. Then in uh, graphic settings, you want to have restart FX and rewind FX off. That just makes like respawning and such faster and it also messes up the cycles a little bit so they're a bit different. But that's all for the settings. And I guess... Factory first. There's nothing huge in Factory, just the... Well, Factory skip, but it's pretty straightforward. This first room is also kind of... There's just like movement. The main movement is uh, dashing. Timer starts here, by the way, but I will reset it. I did they do a, like a double jump there? Okay. Can I stop? Oh, that's how the timer works. Can I like... Okay, I'm not gonna attack here. So you can uh, just spam whatever the dash button is and you won't usually dock, but it's like not that consistent how fast you get it. Some people like, it, like to smash it. I personally just like to time it. I might have missed a roll or two sometimes, but the rolls that I do get are much faster, because the timing is more tight. But yeah, this first screen is... Uh, oh, I can't even reset here. Wait. Oh. Well, you just, just you roll as much as you can. Also, when you're falling down, like a normal would be like... Uh, Normal uh, dropping like speed, like wait, like this. But if you tap down, down once, you go super fast. So like here, you like. Uh, I think if you just tap down all the time, you just go really fast through all of those, and that just will come here. Here you spam A to get this up and wait for this. All I'm almost there, and just then spam the rest. <laughs> Nothing interesting there. Just dashing and answering the phone and then selecting the second one. Oh, I'm gonna skip a lot of the dialogue thingy, but you can... There's a document file that I'll probably link in the YouTube video description that has all the like fastest answers you can do. So this room you just come here, jump up to these guys and hit that guy. Like, kind of easy. Like, nothing too special. Easy rooms. And the spawn on the third guy that walks is kind of random, but usually you can just do that and then hit them. Also here, you don't have to move at all. You just roll. And you get the optimal speed there. <laughs> you have to like, uh, you can't mess up your rolls, otherwise you will fail at uh, all the laser cycles. You just wall jump here, those both, and then, oh, oops, for his roll. I haven't done this slowly. Roll on a death, then delay this jump so you get it in two. What I like to do here is I roll and then I push slow motion just as I'm almost hitting it, so I have like just a minimal amount of slow motion in this stage. Next room, you just clear all the enemies and watch out for the lasers. <laughs> Nothing huge here. Also, here you are supposed to do this. Oh, there's kissy face. Uh, and go save that guy. But you can just go here and to the start of the level. And there's like an old trigger or something that's left out for some reason. I don't know why it's a glitch. Just did some old text that's not in the game otherwise. And this skips all the rest of the thingies and you 
like start from the next level day at the office here. And here we just spam. But I'm gonna it'll be faster. I'm gonna reload the next level. That you can just spam through all of that conversation, it's the fastest. Time for hotel. Hotel, there, there's a few like few time saves you can have, like some riskier ones. So here, just uh, spam this. Also, the thing that you don't go talk to the last uh, the target, you just open the door and throw some throwable at him, but he will die. There's a lot of time and it skips like the cutscene of you talking to him and some dialogue. Here, just don't roll to the this and just do this. Wait for this guy and go to the right and spam A. And don't forget to skip the replay because I do that a lot. Here, you're pretty straightforward depending on the spawns. Like, uh, I like to do this, I just kill the first guy. Well, now they're nicely in sync. Kill this guy, second guy, and use the throw ball on the last guy if he's on the left. You doing all stages tutorial? Yes, I'm doing an all stages tutorial. This is also gonna apply the golden ending. I'm gonna explain the golden ending in Chinatown. So if you have something, you can just ask. Also, this room. What? That was a good spawn. You get these two guys and those two guys. You can use the like sometimes the one guy will be here and the second guy like back here. Then you can just kill the first guy, throw the throwable at the second guy, and get the next throwable from here. And I like to use it here on this guy. Then this guy also, you just dash up and then throw the throwable to this guy here. Also depending on the spawns, this guy can be like somewhere here and you have to improvise a bit. But usually it's the best to like uh, kill this guy and then throw the thing in that guy. This room is a bit of a troll, you... it's faster to just rush and hit. But uh, it's way safer. Oh, I didn't throw there. Just uh, kill the first guy and back off a bit if they're together, because the first guy can stun you and then you can't hit the second guy and you will die. So if they're like together, together, just hit once and then roll away and then go back for the second one. It's not too bad to lose like a second just for safety of not dying at the last part. Oh, I, I'm gonna explain this fast. So here, uh, you wanna do two rolls. And then you want to swing the sword upwards. If you roll the sword into the staircase, you will not move at all, like this. If you move upwards, you do jump a bit. So it's two rolls, then you flash up and kill the second guy, and then go fast right. Uh, kill the one guy spawning there, and try to time the throwable to the gunman that comes. Like uh, two rolls, these guys jump down, and then this guy, and that's it. Also, uh, oh fuck, no, I didn't want to go there. Well, you can check the replay here. Yay. Normal speed. So here I, uh, fuck it. Can I, how do I, how does this work? Like here, when I want to go down, you can just hold down and you will drop down, but it's much faster and uh, better usually to like, uh, sword swing, like, attack downwards and you will go down way faster but that's what it would look like optimally you preferably you would get the last guy like also in one hit but that's also kind of simple also this room is uh, it can be really bad what you want to do here is you just take this you hit this door and then you roll uh, behind these two guys actually i might put the music down a little bit i'm not sure it's if it's like My, I don't know, my voice might still be really low. But you hit this, then you roll behind t these two guys. Like that. Because if you don't, then you try to do this. They might sometimes, like the first guy, can uh, block your hit. Like this, and the second guy might uh, like not die or kill you. So the safest is to just hit that and then roll behind them and hit them. 
In this part, you hit this first guy, just wall and kill that guy. He can, like, never kill you, I think. This last room is also trolley with the spawns. So, you want to save at least one throwable to this part so you can kill the... Oh, oops. <laughs> So you can kill the first guy and then use the throwable on the second guy. That was a bad spot. Just to be safe. And if they're like uh, close together, you might just want to play it safe and try to roll behind them and get both of them at once. And usually it's the best if they're like a bit separated to kill the first guy and then throw the thing on the second one. But it's all about spawns. Waiting for the speedrun mode so the spawns aren't random anymore. Also this is just you kill the left guy and then the right guy, throw this on that guy, then just roll and try to time your hits, then, oops, fuck, I do that, I like to do that. Also, like, uh, try to time your exit of pressing Y here, like optimally, like mid-roll, so you don't lose any time, and you can kill this guy here. Now here you just do something depending on the spawns, like kill the first guy and then deflect the bullet. You don't want to throw your throwable here, because this guy will start like the big cutscene where you talk to him and he's gonna jump down. So you have one, you have one throwable here where you open the door and then you throw it at him and he just dies and that's it. That saves like 20 seconds or something. And there's two throwables on this level, so you can like... Maybe use one on the like the knife that you get here. Like uh, I can delay this a lot because I'm gonna timestamp this on YouTube anyway, so people can just skip it real, like this. Oh. Oops. Bad runner, by the way. So if you want to play it really safe, you can uh, use the throw ball on that guy, then get this throw ball. And then use that on that one. But I just like to use the knife on the start to get this crowbar guy because you can lose some time if he deflects your hit. But then you just go to the elevator, stand here and just hit down once or you can spam. Here you can also just like as soon as you can move, roll and hit the first guy and then just roll twice. Like you can, you will always, uh, well now I did, oh wait, roll to the right, uh, hello? don't really have to time that shotgun shot, at least I don't do anymore. I just like uh, YOLO and roll through it and it almost always works. Then after this dance, but was there some optimization in the cut? Oh no, it's this. Then you just go in and that's it. And next stage. Club. Club is my favorite level. I have some really nice strats that might be hard, but they're not that hard. Well, they are a bit. There's a few, like, uh, in the beginning there's one really, really risky one that saves, like, two seconds or something. But you can just skip it and you will lose the two seconds, but it's not bad. Also this. The cycles on this room are always the same on the first uh, first run of this stage. In uh, when you load the whole stage, if you reset the level, the cycles are always different. But the first attempt, they will always be the same here. So this will always work. So you can roll here on the or the one like uh, oh fuck. I don't want to do that. You can also just roll on these guys. On this part you can't... Wait, fuck. I need... I want to restart this so I get the cycle. That was dumb of me to do that. Oops. Oh. I need to like properly reload it. Oops. So you, you can take the first part really slow because you have to wait for one specific cycle anyways. So you don't have to risk it every time, but it's just preference if you want or if you just want to like 
warm up your movement, buddy. You can just take a chill. I'm gonna take a chill here just to show that it's not that tight. Like, just stay here and wait for this guy. Then follow this guy, and when he's uh, here, you can jump over him no matter what time it is on the stairs. And he will not spot you. And then you just run here, wait for this guy to turn. And on the last guy, you can wait for him on these guys and let him go past you. But there's also this uh, jump that you can, if when he stops, you can just jump over him and make it to the door and spam Y or whatever your interaction button is and enter the door before like the game ends because he will notice you but if you do it fast enough you can make it like that like he noticed me but I was fast enough so I made that transition there this room is just clearer than then throw the knife backwards at some point it's pretty straightforward nothing too hard there the second room with the spawns again like it could be a bit trolly with the spawns but just play it kind of like safe and with the three guys I mean like if there's one guy and then two guys kill the one guy back off maybe a little bit and see what the two guys do and then try to roll behind them and kill them and then throw the knife backwards to the first guy who goes to mourn a strong Terry uh, this room you just jump down and get the both of these uh, hit this and roll and you will never get hit by this so here, hit down, and you, like, come down, hit this guy, and then hit that guy, it shouldn't be too hard. Open, roll, hit. It's always the same rhythm. You can also, like, deflect it or something, it's preference, but that's safe. Here, you can uh, hit this both guys, and then throw the thingy on the pipe. But I like to do it like this. Like, I used to throw a ball on one of the two guys, and hit the other one, and then jump, hit this, and then go through the door. That's are pretty fast. Here you just take these two guys out, open the door, throw the throwable there and then take all of these guys out. It's also pretty straightforward as these guys are really delayed. I think they're like coded that they don't shoot fast enough so you have time to throw it. So you can also do this. Which like skips that part completely because they shoot so late for some reason. So you can do two rolls and then hit all of them. But well, that's also like preference, but take the two first guys out, open the door and then throw the knife to the pipe and that's it. Nothing too crazy there. This, there's a few ways you can do this. I like to do it like this. Like, uh, take the knife, roll here and take both of those out, they get the guy out, roll here and try to throw that knife to the pipe. Sometimes this guy will be right there and you can't throw it. That's why I want to have the first knife with me as well. So if I accidentally throw the knife to that guy, I still have the second knife to hit the pipe. And then just clear those. Like this does it so that this turret right here doesn't see you. You don't have to kill it, you can just put it there. Go through those, put the lasers out, then go back left. And that's it. Now this uh, is pretty special, you just take, oh, oops. take these guys out, jump up, roll behind all of these, oh that guy didn't die, and you, you usually can get all of them in one hit. I'll go put this laser on once, go here, take one of these, you can usually get it automatically when you roll, jump up, kill these, and here I will Open the door, it will kill this guy, then I will throw the throwable and I will deflect the bullet that the one guy shoots. Like that. It's kind of hard, like uh, you can also slow motion when you do that, or you can just do it more safely. Like do it like this if you want to, if it's too risky or something for you. Like that's not risky at all, you just bait them. You lose like 4 seconds by doing that, or like 3 seconds. It's not too bad. Then you just go kill the DJ. And this screen can be really trolly with the spawns. Uh, I will just 
keep rolling and throwing the throwables. I want to use. Uh, I want to save the last one for the last guy. So if this guy comes first, I will kill him. This throwable for him. Oh, jump down and just hope that you get spawns. Then I want to go really fast to the right to get that guy. Then wait here and, and throw it then on that guy. That was pretty good timing. Uh, I kind of want to do like uh, when you first attempt this room, the music will start from the beginning, and there's a good way to time it. Like when the base drops, so to say, and if you throw the throwable at that point, it will always hit the guy running here at around here. So it would be like pretty perfect timing but you can just test that one out and like try to assume when to throw it so if you throw it too early it will miss because the guy will be too up and you will the auto aim will lock as you can't manually aim if there's someone in that direction you'll always lock it onto him and if he's going like uh, vertically you will you will always miss your throws but that's club it's really fun and Really fun to grind the inside parts, anyways. It's kind of a fun level. The only annoying part is the exit of a club because of the RNG on the spawns, which will also be fixed with the speedrun mode, hopefully, at some point. Let's go wait for that. Here, just prison is kind of boring, really. <laughs> In the speedruns, the spam the phone and then you just roll. I guess this is where you check if you have perfect rolls. I guess I didn't there. Like the only speed tech here is this one jump in the final screen. Apart from, of course, rolling perfectly, but like here, jump and uh. Jump and then attack upwards, and you can make this jump here. Just continue from here. It saves like a good few seconds, so worth. Here, just spam, press Y, and then spam A. And here, you just spam roll left, and then you exit, and hopefully, it spawns. So, with this level, you can. Uh, if someone notices you, you have to kill him, but you can also exit the level with leaving people alive. So you can skip some people if there are some weird place and they haven't seen you yet. Like this, these two guys, I will. they haven't seen me yet, so I can just leave. Here you hope for good spawns again, and just roll and do. This, this one can be really trolly with the spawns. Might have to like time your rolls a little bit if you get like a weird three man stack or something. But yeah, usually that goes well. Yeah, I'm not gonna go through the dialogue. There's like after after you finish Well, there's the dock, you can check that <laughs> from the link that I will leave somewhere. But after club there's the where you, when you're at the meeting with the I act so I could twist. Wait, what the fuck? The meeting afterwards. Uh, you don't want to spam through that. You want to wait twice for the first non-red option and select those, and it's faster to get the Chronos way earlier from him. Then the studio, which is a bit trolley, but that's how it is. Here just spam and we always remember the walk during cutscenes because I forget a lot and I lose a lot of unnecessary time doing that. Spam here, then spam X, hit it back, then spam A again, and then spam Y. Now this level will be, I will take the throwable from the ground here. I will hit the door open, I will roll, uh, then hit the guy with the gun, then hit the guy with the crowbar, and then throw the throwable at the last guy coming in. Like, uh, like that. That usually works pretty cleanly. Oh, now he stayed up there. Why is he staying up there? 
by something like that. Just hit, then roll, head, hit backwards, and then throw the ledge. Could be too hard. Just a little bit of uh, trying it out a couple of times. Bam through that. Elevator. Also, the order here is preference, but it's still like best to go first uh, Doom, then Space, and then Quiet Hills because Doom has the biggest time losses of this stage. Then Space have this, has the second biggest ones, and then Quiet Hills is like the easiest. So it's best to get through the hardest one first. Well, not hardest, but the biggest time loss one first, so we can reset if you want to. So Doom first. Roll, hit roll. Then these guys you don't have to hit, I think. You can if you want, but that you have to hit. Put the door open, then just jump the lasers. This room can be really trolly. Like that. And that already loses a lot of time. So you might want to, if you get like a spawn like that, you might want to slow motion or something like that. Oh well. I'm not gonna do it because I'm a pro, but I already died twice, so I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay. There. Nice to have two deaths here for the tutorial. Then you jump, jump and go to the... Head of the level. Here you can do this, you jump and then just get in the air, you will never die doing that. And just like, really consistent way of getting through it. Like the old strat was to like uh, deflect the bullet without slow motion, and that just makes it easier. You just open door, throw a throw a boat, you just got them, that's it. Pretty safe, shouldn't be any problems there. This one is really like annoying with the spawns. So you have to take be careful here with the first guy. Well now I got a good spawn on this guy. But he can spawn like right there where he died, and you want to, if he does that, He's like off screen, you want to jump up, then maybe slow motion and see if the bullet comes and hit back. Or just like uh, use your camera to see better. If you have a mouse, I think you can see him. That was like that. Also, here, just hit the first guy and then wait for the second guy, just for safety. And that's it. It's a lot of with dealing with the spawns on the first. Uh, well, it's mostly just with spawns here. You roll, throw this on those guys, hit this, wait for this shot, and get that. Get the Molotov, and here you wait for this guy to be near the door. You should take like two second max, and then immediately throw the Molotov. And then clear those two guys. Usually, oh, it usually can be like done really quickly. Well now I have to wait, that's like the maximum you have to wait on this screen. Like that. Pretty easy. Here you throw the Molotov, wait for these guys, get them. And this can be a bit tricky. You usually want to wait for one of the guys to be at the door so you can kill it with him. Maybe save the throwable if you want, but it's not necessary. Also here, the animatronics, like the background props that go around the background, all your uh, all your throwables will target them or hit them, so it's you can get pulled by them a lot. So keep that in mind, it's it's gonna be really frustrating when you hit one of those. Here you take the Molotov and just throw whoever is on top and then just clear the room from there. Like, if I wanted to throw this at somebody, it would go to that guy and not the guys behind him. But yeah, that's that. This room is mostly about this room here. If you get this room, it's like... You probably won't die anymore if you just take it like this room a bit safe. But this room is like the hardest of I think all studio, to be honest. It doesn't lose a lot of time if you die there, but it, you die there a lot. Because you don't want to wait for too long, so you don't lose time. But then again, it's really risky to just go balls out and run into it. Uh, here you this guy roll and hit this guy. Go here and throw the smoke. You kill this guy, take this and just go oops. I'm not used to doing this slow. Throw the smoke down and just clear the last rest. So 
just have to get used to like the timings on when these guys are gonna shoot, so you can deflect or dodge them. That's also kind of safe. Here, also a really trolly part with spawns. That was a really good spawn, but sometimes they are separated, so you want to kill like this guy first without opening the door in slow motion and deflecting the bullet there, I guess. Can I get like a better spawn? No, I got that one. Something like that, and you always want to keep one knife with you because this guy, well, now he's there. Wait. Come on. Well, he usually sh uh, sits here, and you want to save the knife for him so you can, like, open the door and throw it at him. Then here you go up. But uh, if you don't want this, you want the smoke. Then you just go down to throw the smoke and there is what rest down, just take the key and go away. Just roll, roll, roll. Also, no, oh, fuck. There's a strat here that you can, like, uh, like that. Fuck. Like, do that, and it will save, like, 0.5 seconds or something instead of going through the door. That's studio. Well, there's still one robot. This in there. Here, uh, we're gonna kill the first guy, then roll, kill the second guy, throw the statue to the guy who's standing up the stairs. Take the molotov, roll left, and maybe kill the guy on top left if he aggroes me, and then throw the molotov to the right. Like that. And then maybe wait for that guy. And here, I guess you can do this and just throw the smoke there, and they will run to the smoke and you can kill them. Or you can just like uh, come down here and then try to get them from under here because they will spawn there. Also, this fight uh, to end, to make this uh, fight end, you have to get hit like I don't know, is it like eight times or six times? Eight times. But the fastest way to do it is to hit him four times without uh, taking damage or getting hit. And to hit him, you have to be behind him when he shoots the pistol, so... It saves like 8 seconds. Like this, and then he shoots it. Like that was one. Oh. Was two. Oh, now it's getting really good. And four. And now it ends when he will hit me. Like that. That's like the fastest way to do it, to get four hits without getting hit. And then use dialogue and it ends there. Then... Mansion time. So I like people beating my PBs while I do tutorials. tutorials. Like that's illegal. I'm trying to help people and people are just... Making me lose my runs. Okay, mansion time. Mansion is kind of hard, depending on spawns. I could, you can lose a lot of time here, but like there aren't really any good save strats for some of the rooms. Here you want to jump, then jump attack up, uh, up attack like twice. Get that guy, roll fast here, delay that jump so you can get that guy. Roll, jump down to this, roll, get both of that. Open the door, roll, show that and that. It usually goes really well, but if you fail the first time, the cycles will be really messed up and you can a lot of time there. But it usually is just about the guys, the gunman spawning inside that room there. Like it's the hardest part of that one. So just jump attack twice real fast there. Delay that jump a little bit and get that guy. Roll, get that guy, roll and get those throw. And that. Pretty easy. You want to have the throwable on the last guy on the right because making that jump without the, with him being alive, he can kill you or stun you and throw you down, and it's just not good. So you want to throw something at him. Here, uh, people like to do different stuff. What I do is that I have a rhythm. I hit him, I will uh, roll back, then hit the left guy, hit the right guy, then roll and hit the last guy, I think. Oh. Like that. Also, 
Also, this guy here can aggro sometimes, so you have to keep an eye out for that. But if you can uh, hit me before he shoots a bullet, he will never aggro. But if he shoots a bullet, that guy will aggro. Then take smoke. Kill this guy, jump down and... Oh, oops. Oopsie. Just smoke somewhere and get both of those. Or you don't get killed like I did. This room, uh, also the earlier cutscene where you like come here and there's like the glitchy part, you want to die as fast as possible every time so you just roll and open the door. But here you open the door, roll, kill the gunman and then kill the second guy. Like that. Then just roll here fast. You don't get shot by B if you do it fast enough. And that guy get, gets killed by that door sometimes. Then just throw the molotov, get up there and kill this guy. Hello Voidas, just saw your PB, it was a really nice time. Congrats on that one. I was just complaining that people are getting like uh, better PBs than I, than I am when I'm doing like uh, tutorials. Like I'm being the nice guy and I'm getting fucked. Also this room is uh, really trolly, like uh, this boss can be bad, but you want, like this is what you kind of want to do. Oh, oops, not that. This fast, get these two guys here. Uh, walk up, hit the first guy, then roll. Oh, oops. Too bad I was not here for studio because I'm really bad at that part. Well, I'm gonna, it's gonna be on YouTube. I guess. I can teach you, personally, like uh, 4 dollars a month. These guys, uh, depending on the spawn, they're really bad sometimes. Oh, they're stuck somewhere. You just have to wing it a little bit, I guess. Oh, they noticed me. Or you can also slow motion when entering this room just to get like uh, perfect deflex and dodges. Here you clear the two guys, then you want to be good at timing like uh, with deflecting bullets in this room. You can't do this slowly. Immediately use that one so the first guy dies. Wait for these two guys. Go up. Kill this guy, get the Molotov. And you can just throw in at those guys. Or if the one guy is like here, you open the door, kill him, and then throw the Molotov to that guy. Also, you can kill this guy if you want. Also, say first that like if they're both on the left here somewhere, you can also like lose a few seconds ago here and take them from underneath. It's a bit safer if you have like bad spawns on them. This room again, this is like the... What about deflecting? Also, this, there's a skip here, it's a one frame skip. Because here when you normally go through this, the replay will play. And then you will die to the bombs, or explode. But if you hit like a replay skip, which is like Y for me, at the exact frame that it starts, it will skip the replay and you will get to the V fight, so... There, I got it. So it, I, it didn't get the replay where the bomb explodes and such, and I just come here. Here you just spam until you die once. I got the cop skip, nice. Never get it in a run, so I get it in when I do ILs. Second time you spam until this, then now you wait. I want answers V, then you spam this, spam that, and now you wait again. So he says like the, he has a date or something, and then you press something and die. I you spam again until my head, and first to like these, then wait for. Um, be late for your date and then just spam the rest. <laughs> People like I usually don't go, <laughs> don't focus on the game and read chat or something and I mess those up and it's really annoying to lose like 15 seconds to dialogue. I'm not known to lose runs to dialogue, just like I did yesterday. Losing a word record to Dialogue in the last 20 seconds of the run. Okay, so here, when the fight starts, 
just spam upwards with your thumbstick. I think my overlay is showing my inputs. Like, just spam upwards and roll. Well, I guess you can see. Throw the stick to the guy with the sword. Then uh, when you get, get the sword, you want to die. Don't kill the last gunman, just die and it will skip the dialogue of the kissy face saying like, oh, let's get this started or something. So spam upwards so you fall. This roll, throw, oh, I throw. Oops. <laughs> Don't throw with that kissy face, so roll, throw, get the katana, then die here. So the fight starts. Then wait for attacks and just hit you from the back and do this. It's just, there's no bad way of doing this. Oh, okay. You can reset. Okay. I guess apparently you can also do that. Also... RNG AI. <laughs> oh yeah. Also you can, uh, on controller, you can't bind reset yet. It's coming, but it's not there yet. But you can, but you can press your R key on keyboard, and it will reset the level immediately. Or you can just bind R key on your, like, select key or something, like I have on my controller. But it's gonna come with an update at some point, according to the dev I ask. That move you always want to like uh, dodge a little bit if you're far away because I don't know, I hate it. I guess it's just preference. Just spam. Next there and go away. Or start and restart. Yeah, but that's slow. Compared to just pressing one button and insta restart. Restart. <laughs> now for the highway part. annoying part with highway is that the gunmen can shoot at random times and there's no tell when they're gonna shoot and you can't manipulate them into shooting I think and it can take like one second to five seconds for them to shoot so but you just go I guess left you guys from the left then go right with this bottle get all of these oh. get this guy and throw that bottle then you get this whenever you get the save icon on the bottom right and the scene is changing, you can uh, reset or like press restart here or press R and it will save a couple of seconds because it will like put you instantly into the fight and skip the transition. This also like kind of reference, you move faster from left to right than right to left so you always want to be on left and going right. But on some screens you have like one left and three right, so you want to be right first, but I never remember the order, so... Like, there it delayed a lot. So just clearing these guys. There, restart again, so it loads this part faster. Take the bottle. Oh, fuck. Really delayed with the shooting again with those guys. Same here. Fuck you. Just keep clearing. So here's the boss fight. Hit him off screen. And I don't know. Yeah. We can also restart here to make it faster, but I usually get this first while I don't want to do that. Put that one back. Uh, this is just dodge these. Also, when you get this, this he's gonna shoot with the machine gun. What I like to do is, uh, if he's on the left, go around here and the top point possible. If he's on the right, you go a little bit like right from the center. Then when he's gonna weave back, go downward, uh, downwards and get ready to deflect the first bullet. It's easy to die to this, but it saves a lot of seconds. Oh wow, I messed it up. Like that. So like here and then go downwards and hit the first bullet. This this around here for these. 
it's gonna be really trolly with the you can get like impossible patterns. <laughs> like that holy shit. Hello? Can I get a clip of that please? Okay, let's no, I don't want to use two hits. It's like it's just you need three hits and five hands. I can just skip this. Then you just spam. No need to waste them. <laughs> like this one. But the, you just do three hits and it ends there. But with the one with the homing missile, you just go around and try to dodge them. That was really amazing to get that locker there. Then afterwards, it's uh, Chinatown. Uh, we'll do Casino. Just because of cop skip and the fast kill. Ugh. This is kind of boring, like, just go here and spam. Thanks. So first will be black. You don't have to spam there because it's always the like, uh, same speed. So no need to spam here. Now you can spam because it will be red. So red is top. So it's a black, red and black. I'll spam for bet again. And wait for the options and select black. Then spam through the, this final one and walk right. Then spam Y. Spam A. I go here. So here when the fight starts you want to roll left twice I think and then hit immediately. Oh, if you run in switch, roll is different? Okay. Apparently. So you want to roll left twice and then hit and you will get a fast kill. Also, the same as the replay skip earlier. The moment when you leave this room, if you get uh, you uh, spam Y or something, whatever is your uh, replay skip button, and if you hit it on the exact frame where the replay would start, it you will skip it the skip like 16 seconds and having to kill the cops that come here and stuff. It saves like 16 seconds. It's just like a one frame input trick when you leave the room. It's really hard to get. Like twice? No, I didn't hit the replay. Like there, and then just spam Y here, or there it is. There, I got it. That saves 16 seconds. Thanks for the clip. That, like, skips the part where she's like, Oh, I killed you like a hundred times, then goes away, you get the tape, and then like two cops come in and they talk, you have to kill them. That's like, I think that's 16 seconds. Here, you'll uh, roll... You can take this bottle if you want. You roll uh, behind this guy, kill him, then go out. Well, I can explain why I do it. Like this, go hit this, go here, and you need this bottle, by the way, if you don't have any. Go up. Oh, wow. I want to do this like slowly, but then I can't really do it because in slow motion here if you want. Wait, what? No, okay, I guess I can. Usually also like use the bottle on that guy, you can do that. It's a bit like tight to get the throw. With this guy. Usually that guy if you like when you're coming down here, that guy is like running through and you can kill him here. But sometimes he just likes to look at the window there. And roll past this guy. So here a bottle there. There goes, so I'll take this bottle. Hello? I'll also jump on this one. Take both of these guys out. Wait for that guy. That. This room, uh, you have pretty much have to get this first try because the cycles are okay on the first attempt. Afterwards, the robot can like on the first attempt you can predict when the robot shoots because he always shoots at the same time. But afterwards, it will be random, so you can die a lot here if you don't get a first try. So just walk, open the door, deflect the bullet of the guy who's shooting you, then deflect the bullet of the robot. I'm not sure if I can do this slowly. Wait. 
Oh, I want to jump and it like it. Fuck. But like, uh, if it was in the normal spawn, I would do that. If you do it in this rhythm, you will always deflect the bullet from the first try. Then go here. No. Roll. Then just like slash the robot into these guys. Too bad I didn't get it the first try, but that's usually it. Here you can walk. You will uh, deflect this bullet if this robot down roll. So you have to roll there when you get to the ground, so you... Well, you can also press B or something. But if you roll, you get the throwable, the smoke, and then just throw it down immediately. So... Like, if like this, this roll and throw the smoke, so these guys will come out. Then just jump, attack upwards, and... Oh, wow. Well. Nice tutorial, man. Like that. But fast. Like deflect that and roll of smoke and then kill all these guys and just jump up and kill the shield guy first and then the second guy. Here, you have to be fast because the the guys will just insta aggro you and run around. So just no oh, slow. Just roll smoke here. Oh wow! Kill all of these guys. I want to do this again. This preference what you want to do, there's a few strats for this. Oh, didn't get that one. I want to get the strat that I do. Just to show it off. Take the Molotov and throw it there. Oh, they usually all die with the Molotov. You just want to go down really fast. Molotov of the two guys coming from top. Something like that. It takes a lot of time to get used to and the timings and spawns can be a bit different on a few of the guys. So you just have to grind that room a lot and get the used to the timings and such. This room you jump up, take these guys out, deflect the bullet on that guy. So that's like the best way to do it is just deflect it. And here, you kill this guy, jump, and oh, that robot was in a weird spot. Blow those and then kill the last guy, because he will usually survive. So that's what it would look like. And there I missed the jump. So deep like that, you kill that guy, hit the robot down to the barrels, and then the last guy. This room... Uh, I don't think there's any good, like, consistent strat. What I like to do is just jump over and try to kill these first guys and then see what the rest of the guys do and react. Well, I usually get it like pretty nicely nowadays. Also watch out for the robots because when you kill these two guys they can shoot you. So you have to like roll kill and go back just like this. robot was fucking with me, but something like that. Also get some, you need some time to get used to. Here, take the bottle roll here, then what I do here is I wait for two guys to spawn, so one guy will come out, then the second guy I will hit once, then I will spam B, so I throw both of the throwables left, then I kill the last shot guy, like there, both throwables and shot guy. And that's the absolute fastest you can do it room in. So wait for the second spawn, throw both throwables and deal with the last guy. That room used to be a problem, but that's, that's pretty nice. Here, you can do this, I guess. Kill that guy, go up, take the smoke here, smoke this, and just clean the rest that come out of that car. Kill this guy and then wait for the cops and kill them. Or you can like open this door, pull this guy aggro, then just go left and kill these guys first. Then kill this guy. This room you want to have a throwable because it's like kind of annoying with the timing when he shoots, so the safe is to open and throw the throwable. I really like this right here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. 
then I guess the fastest would be like, uh, yeah, yeah, I know you took the double sweat, I know it's... Here I guess it's fastest to roll out left, right, so those spawn and then go kill that guy, so we save a little bit of time waiting for those cops. Then here... Fuck, I can't remember the dialogue for the golden ending thingy. The golden ending would stop here, when you decide to kill yourself. Is it like 2 and 1 or something? Well, with the... All stages you just spam A here. Then three? Okay. But with all stages you spam A. Through this whole thing. So two and three. This. And three. Time to die or what? Yeah. That's how you end it or something like that. Then golden ending stops there. I guess you can spam. I guess you can spam like red on the last one, but I guess it's like two and three then. So not the red ones, the. Yeah. It was three and two? How did I get it on two and three as well? Well, okay, it was three and two then. Let's assume that's right. <laughs> I will uh, put the Google, Google Doc in the description with the info about fast dialogue options. Then, Dragon Tape. Currently this is uh, way faster to do with the uh, keyboard and mouse, because the dash on this level, the, like the ability, you have to wait for the cursor to move when you play with the controller, but with the mouse it's instant. But that's gonna get patched in. We talked with the dev and he said that he will make it so that the dash is instamax like it. So right now it's faster with the mouse, but that will uh, change at some point. So the first room you just try to time your B hit here, so you can do this fast. Kill this guy, open the door, do this. So like uh, what I was saying, like I want to dash left as fast as possible with the controller, like this. But with the mouse, it's like this, it's like instant. I can do instant max like uh, dashes, but with a controller I have to like uh, wait for this to go there. And we use a lot, like that a lot, so it loses some time. Here, uh, jump on the left wall, then the right wall, hit this guy, roll and slow motion. Like uh, jump, jump, hit, roll and then do this. Jump, jump, hit, roll and then that one, roll here, jump. Teleport here, open the door and teleport through those guys. Just kill the first guy, left guy, take that one out. You can also use the dash there on these two guys, here. I usually get the first guy on with the door and then deflect the bullet on that guy and the last guy will rush me. This door, do this for safety, at least I like to do this. Kick the door open, so kill this guy fast, wait for these guys to rush and then just dash back down. So they're not here. Then last room, just open the door and dash through the last guy. Also takes a bit of practice. Here, open the door, dash. There's a few strats here, like uh, I think the fastest is this. You dash max height up, spam down, so you go down, down fast, kill off the guys that came down. Now these guys didn't aggro, but sometimes they will aggro and also run to the middle, so you have to be careful about those. Jump up and dash these two guys. I'm not sure if anyone survived here. Oh, this guy survived. Get that guy. So, let me see if I get like a uh, aggro here. Yeah. Something like that, and then it ends, and you spam A on the final cutscene. <sighs> that was that, then next up is Slaughterhouse, yay! So, these three final levels will be the massive choke points of this run. Like all stages. Most of the runs will die, like, in Slaughterhouse or... Mostly in Slaughterhouse, I guess. Or in the last room, in Bunker 2, or the first room. 
or somewhere in bunker one, I don't know. There's a lot of rooms that are really RNG based and we're just waiting for the speedrun mode so it's much better. Because there are some spawns that you can't do anything about, so. And the speedrun mode will make the spawns more consistent. So here you just, uh, just basic roll, get these two guys, roll here, wait for this guy, and then time that roll. Throw a ball on that guy. Look at that. You don't want to rush the shield guy in the middle because he can mess you up. So just walk a little bit and wait for something so you can dash behind him again. This room, the open door, you want to get this uh, cord up here before you kill this guy. If you don't, you get the cutscene here and you get the sniper and such throughout the whole level. So that skips out of time and the sniper. So jump attack the cord first and then kill that guy. If you don't get it, just reset the level. Those guys defending the spawns again. No. This guy usually runs up, then you have to kill all of them up there. Right. If I can get it like this. Like those were really bad spawns and that guy came up. Here I guess you can use a smoke or a molotov. I like to with molotov like uh, when you walk to a door and you start doing the kicking animation, you can use the throwable and it will delay the throw automatically until you can throw it. So wait for the animation, then press B. Oh no, I didn't get it. Oops. If you time the throw nicely, you will get the guy in the back nice. Like uh, we have like both of them with the same Molotov. You can also use the smoke here. I think it's much safer, but I just like to use the Molotov usually. So just hoping that that room has good spawns and getting all three of them and then using Molotov or Smoke on the last room and watching out for the bullets from that guy at the end of the level. Here just keep dashing, you should be fine. You can make it this part here, throw that on that, that guy, then take the bomb. This room here is a bitch to clear sometimes with bad spawns safe strat here is to do this and wait for him to walk there. You will lose a little bit of time doing this, but it's safe and it never will fail. But you can also do it like this. That's really, really fucking risky, but it saves a lot of time. And they all need to be here. And your jumps need to be perfect, so you don't like end up like jumping into the mine when you explode it. So, like three fast jumps, and then you're in a good spot to throw it, and it's worth it needed. But that's about that. Just keep on rolling, and maybe deflect that guy if you want. You can also stay in the middle part, or just make it to the third, like uh, between the. Last crushers and something like that. Here, uh, there's a few strats here. This is really annoying. But a good strat is to open this door, then. Oh, oops. Forgot that I missed this one. Roll through here so the crushers kill those two guys. Try to time the, these two guys if they have bad spawns to deflect the bullets or something. Get these guys. Clear this guy, this guy. You can take this explosive now or later, it doesn't matter. Jump up, like really high, so that guy sees you. Then go here, jump up here, throw the throwable there, go up down a little bit, and then explode it so they all die. This part always works, like the exploding part. Like you can't go over it because the like floor is still there. Throw it up. I'm like down here or something, spot it and jump back up. I'll do it once more. This guy might not always die to that. You can also slow motion to get that more safely. Oh, fuck. Accidentally open the door. That can happen.
No, I did it again. If you don't want to open the door, you can also throw your throwable on that uh, one shotgun guy. So opening a door is kind of annoying. So jump high, go down fast. We'll jump here. Like, they can't hit you when they're there. Just throw the throwable there and drop down a little bit and just detonate it and go. There's also like variations where you can like uh, get them all out of here, explode like these barrels and go down and clear that room and they are a bit fat, like two seconds faster or something but this is really consistent. So I like doing that. This room, uh, you will hit, throw, roll and then you will deflect the bullet. Like, throw, roll, deflect that bullet, go down and kill these two guys. Clear this room. Oh. Then only switch this so it goes left. Then wait for all of them to be next to this door and then you just take and kill all of them. Like this is what it would look like. This all one guy gets always crushed and it loses a bit of time because they will walk. But um, something like that. The door you hit, then throw, roll, time that deflect them, kill the two guys on bottom, switch the switch and go up and wait for these guys. <coughs> this is a nice level if you get it like get the rhythm and strats. You want like, uh, I'm gonna show it fast. Hit, kill, oh fuck. Kill this guy, roll, hit, hit, roll, hit. I stuff that mine. <laughs> hit, hit, roll, hit, hit, roll, deflect. Mine on that guy exploded, kill the last guy. Go here, lasers off. Then you want to kill the gunman here, roll right, and then kill those guys. If you don't roll there, those guys will kill you. So you want to like kill the gunman, then roll right and kill that one. Then two hits, kill that guy, roll away, roll on top of that last guy, go up here. Get that guy open door and throw the molotov from the last guy. Like this part is all about the timing. Like you will get the rhythm for it because it's always the same. Like hit, hit, roll, hit, hit. Like if he spawns way over here, you have, might have to like time the deflect differently. You can also use slow motion there if you want to be safe. Something like that. Oh. Kill myself with the Molotov. You don't have to use the Molotov because this shield guy will never turn in time if you roll. So you can just hit him as well. Then, first skip here. And, oh, I, you can see my cursor like this. So these are the cameras. And I... No, I can't. Well, these two and these two are cameras that will trigger the cutscene and like this fight here that takes like a few minutes. So you want to time your roll so you're rolling past these cameras like this. I like to time it so I start rolling on this part here and just do like not perfect rolls but pretty perfect ones. So like just start rolling around there and you will usually like roll here then past these and then past those. So like here, 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 here. And now I rolled past those cameras and it didn't trigger a thing and you can just go through. Same here. I like to start it like here, like you have to get past the first one and the second one, so pass would be like something like this. Wait, can I like? No, I can't. So wait a little bit there and do that. If you don't get it, then the door closes, you can just reset and then try it again. It's still gonna be like way faster. I think here you can also dodge the camera. I oh. But you could also see the course on that one, like here somewhere. You can also jump and hit them if you don't want to time the roll or something. But it's only one camera, so it's easy to dodge like this. But if you walk, it will trigger it. In that final room, you just walk right here and then open the chamber, and that's it. To do. Then it ends and stuff. Then for bunker. Do -do 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 -do. 
There's a few big RNG rooms here that are really annoying, but that's the game. Again, waiting for waiting for speedrun mode. So the spawns are at least some somewhat consistent. So it's easier to like like uh, uh, we are okay with random spawns and we like random spawns, but they are way too random at times. Like random in a sense that you cannot clear a room without losing time or dying. Losing time meaning like you lose more than five seconds. Also here it saves like a second or something. If you use a keyboard or have R mapped on your controller to reset the level. The moment you press X here, you reset and open the door of the elevator immediately. There's a second, you have to do it. This room is really trolly with spawns. I like to do that if I get two spawns. Like uh, roll, so I get the bottle, throw it on the shotgun guy, then turn and hit the shield guy. Like that. Last room is like... Okay. I guess for good spawns. Like sometimes the guy from the second room can aggro you. Like that. And it will like fuck you up real hard. Like that's what I'm saying with bad like spawns. Like with that spawn you lose a lot of time compared to like getting a good spawn like this. Dying those guys. But yeah, that's all about the spawns on the second floor. Actually, like all about the spawns. Here. Uh, you can. Yeah, I can wait here. So you. Roll, 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 roll. You have to, like, uh, delay the roll in the middle a little bit. Like, uh, this, this, open, roll, and then roll. And you should usually get it like that. It just takes a little bit of time, like getting used to it and such. You have to do it to yourself. Oh, this room. You want to roll, hit the two guys, two guys here, then hit backwards this guy, then roll forward and kill this guy, and then hit backwards on this guy. So, oh, that guy survived. Here if you die once, so you want to get this first try. You'll also get tilted a lot. You just press everything that sometimes works too. Yeah, I don't. That's a consistent way of doing it. <coughs> also here, I will... Uh, the best way is doing this. Roll, roll, hit, hit. Fuck it. Deflecting bad guys bullet. You can sometimes be delayed and such, you can slow motion or something. Then with the Molotov, you want to throw it at that wall. No, at that wall. At the top. Like I said, aiming with the controller is pretty hard. Like there, so the body flies there. If the body flies there, these two guys will group up next to it. You can also do it like fast. Best to wait for this guy and then do that. I think that's like the most consistent way of doing it. Why is the music so loud again? I keep putting it down, it just feels like it's louder and louder every time. Oh, wait, what's next? Oh, yeah, this one. Also, <laughs> there's a nice strat here. You can actually, like, uh, not move at all. Like, you can just time your rolls. Fuck. I didn't time last one. And you will get it, like, every single time if you just get your rolls nicely. Didn't get it there, but I still got the rolls. You don't even have to move. 
roll. Or you can do it in two rolls, like run until he shoots once and then start rolling. Also just takes a little bit of time to use to get used to. <sighs> this room kind of simple. If you dodge the first bullet, go down to this guy. To that guy, go up here, throw the spots on this room, go out through this. Dodge bullets, go down to kill, kill, go back up, smoke, kill. Kill this guy, roll behind the shield guy, and then kill the shield guy. And that's it. And, uh, it's pretty consistent. Like, well, it is consistent. You can't really fuck that one up, to be honest. Like, the shield guy can troll you, of course, but it doesn't happen. Also, this room is a bitch. You want to have like some holy book or something which you when you want to do this because I don't think anyone has a strat for this. Like we have a strat, but the strat is to hope. So like kill this guy. I like to walk here so I get like uh, if I roll here I usually leave one guy alive. I found that I usually get both of them if I like uh, don't roll at all. And here I will. Uh, this is lower strat. That's pretty consistent. Well, yeah, but we are going fast. But like this one is how we drop down, hit the guy on the left. Then I will roll right in slow motion, like uh, try to hit that guy first try, and then wait for the bullet and then deflect that one. Still have to be pretty tight even with slow motion on the last bullet because there's like so little room between you guys. <laughs> you can also try rolling behind him and or doing that max speed, but like doing the same thing with max speed is like really hard. Like that. I was spamming and I didn't get the hit. But with slow motion you can get it because there's a lot of room. So walk, get these guys hopefully. Right guy roll, hit immediately and wait for the bullet. Or if you look like if it looks like you're close enough then you can also hit it. But it's usually best to wait for the bullet. Then this room you want to I'm gonna do it first and then explain it. Oh I didn't take the guy off. Oh. No, I did, I did the old strip. I did that. You want to go up here because uh, this camera, now you can get like past this easily. If you don't do that, you have to like come here and then like do this wall riding thingy. And you can die there. You just wait for it. And if you do like, uh, like the old one was like do something like this. And if you do it this here, you have to dodge the turret on top because he can also kill you, so you don't have to go too high. So do this. Oh, yeah. So roll, roll, hit, roll. Wait, fuck. Roll, roll, hit, hit. Go, roll, hit. Then this guy uh, jump, go to the wall and then jump. Like wall jump from the wall. So that way the turret. Oh, really. That way the turret won't hit, the turret won't hit you if you do that. I hit him, then go to the wall and wall jump, and you will jump over. It. Then here, you do something like this. Depending on the spawn, of course. Kill like the first guy, and then try to roll behind all of them and get them at the same time. Also, if you have a throwable, you can just use the last guy, or just time to dodge the bullet or deflect. Then you die, and that's bunker one. Now for the last stage.
which has the most annoying room of the game because it's 100% RNG pretty much and this fucking room I, I can't get spawns like different here but like these first three guys are the absolute worst you want to like uh, down attack so you get down fast and kill at least one guy and then roll and kill two guys if you don't kill any of them and you try to do this you usually die so you have to get at least one and preferably a guy with a gun so that this guy dodge and just or deflect it whatever works i usually dodge in this room uh, go behind them and then kill them you also might have to like uh, do it in a different way like uh, I just fucking died like, they can be separated like a lot which will force you to do something different now differently also rolling here is kind of annoying like this one kill that guy then roll back like roll back behind the shield guy because if you kill that guy behind him and then try to hit him back, the shield guy would have already turned and he will knock you down and kill you. So you roll past him, kill the uh, gun guy, then you roll like back where you started and kill the shield guy when he turns. This guy you just climb his shotgun and dodge it and hit. That guy aggroes and you can kill him. This guy, if he's on the right, you do the same thing as with this guy here. You just climb his shots or something and hit him. You need this Molotov here. I uh, know, uh, smoke here, or the last room here. So, same here, dodge this guy. These guy will, guys will aggro every time. Take them out uh, on these stairs. Go down, throw the smoke on the last two guys, and that's it. Yes, uh, that's what I usually do, I forgot. I usually also use the throwable on the shot guy. Shotgun guy after this. Like, there you saw the double hit. This is really useful, this replay thingy. Like, can I go slow motion? No, I can't. Fuck. So I roll past the shield guy, get the guy, then I roll back to uh, on the other side of the shield guy. Because he will turn, and then I will get him from there. Like, if I hit him here, you can see that he already turned and he will just knock me down. So I have to roll behind him and... Well, you saw the knocking animation that he did. And then here you can just go down and throw the throwable on that shot guy. Shotgun guy, you can see there. Here, uh, you need this gun. Uh, wait, let me do this fast. Don't kill this guy. Well, you can do this however you want. Just kill this gun, get the gun. Here, you will uh, hit, then throw, and then roll. So you will hit this guy, throw the fucking gun at the shield guy, he will die, and then roll behind the turret and kill him go here roll throw the grenade on him and kill someone and talk about that three times wait do it fast that's what it usually looks like like toggling this three times gets like this guy to run into lasers and kill him. here you can do this with a bottle or without this is the fastest way to do it so open to this guy and throw the bottle on the guy on the bottom here then this room you open it, then you roll kill off those, uh, the turret and that guy. Then take the Molotov and go downstairs and throw it on those guys running up. So... Like that. Now this is the most annoying room of the game because there's like six people with uh, uh, random spawns and you have to... Deal with those guys. With this spawn, this uh, guy on the right here. Can they use my mouse here? No. The guy you see on the middle, uh, the second guy, he will shoot me when I open this door. So with this spawn, I will like I like to open the door, then deflect the bullet, and then kill the guy that will aggro from the bottom floor. Take this, deflect that one, kill this guy. Oh, those aggro that as well. That's the best you can do that room in. Then if you have good spawns here, like both of the guys being here next to this door, you can also clear it fast. But this one you can also, like you want to clear that room if you get good spawns here, because you might get bad spawns later when you go this room. 
Uh, don't take the smoke yet. You will need it later. Go here to get the shield guy. Just dodge him and get the bomb. That guy is already dead, so... Open this door and kill that guy. Yeah, it's the three guys on top. Kill that guy. Throw the nade down there. To explode on the barrel. Take the smoke. Get all of these guys up. Up. Go down the road to smoke here. Oh, with what? Weird. Now we can get a different spawn. So here he will not aggro. I guess I was just doing this. So... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. One thing is, never... Uh, hit the, this door open because you will mistime it. The best way is to just roll and then run into the door and this guy will be close enough to get killed by it. I oh, know I got this spawn again. I want the second spawn. Can you like have to play for a little bit so the spawn changes? Oh, I threw it actually. With this one you can like uh, if you see that the middle guy is uh, walking towards you and the bottom guy is on the... you can't see him. It means that you will uh, Deflect the bullet and then go here and throw it on the guy that's usually there. Let's see. No, look at this. So deflect that and throw this on that guy. These guys will stack up. Fuck. And then, of course, if that room has good spawns, you can clear that one. If not, then just skip that room. So now I have this spawn. Throw the throwable on that guy if he's running away, like far away from you. Then go down. Get that guy, get the throwable from here. Probably slow motion. Well, now they are brought here as well. I'm so bad at doing slowly. Fuck. Just slow motion here, I guess. Just to clear that room. It's the fucking worst. Also, if you have one extra throwable, you can clear this room fast. Well, if you have one throwable here with this room cleared, and one guy next to this door, you want to clear this room always. Now I get the smoke, but like, if he's next to the door, just open the door and throw the throwable on that guy. Now I get the smoke, I can do the backup, I guess. This one you don't like have anything to explode the barrels with, so this, this will be a bit different here. Something like that. Now, now you see these two gunmen are on the left side here on top. And they're going next to that door. That means that we can go here and uh, get like two guys and then throw. Like if you see the both of the gunmen being held left, always go up here and clear this room and try to play with the door. Then take the bomb again, clear this guy if he's still alive. Wait for this so we can get a better kill here. Deflect. Those guys aggroed so I don't want to throw the bomb yet because they will take the bomb and take it away from the barrels. Explode those. Here there's room. Just basic combat stuff. This you can work with. Oh I just left the one shield guy up. But this room is mostly about the first guys in the first room. you want shield guy still there. Also, if you get the shield guy walking left in the beginning, you can do this nice little strat that's really fun. So now that guy aggroed. No, I don't... There we go. So dodge him, throw the bomb at him, and then just run away. Oh, now they didn't stack. But you can like, uh, this way you can... Fuck kill the top guys really easily, like this. They will stack and then you can just explode all of them. And this one guy survives, but it'll be too hard to handle. So... Roll, bomb... Oh, exploded the bomb. Like, if you manage to kill these guys, this room is easy. You shouldn't die here. Oh, that was a weird aggro. What? Why did I say it's not? It's easy. Well, <laughs> but 
Well, it's easy for this room. Weird that he didn't. Oh, I forgot this guy. This guy will be off screen. You might have to like move your camera a little bit to see where he is or if he's gonna shoot at you or something. These guys, you can just do this if you want to be safe. Is there any other variation in this room? You can also try to bait them here, and but that's like really inconsistent, I think. At least I don't have any luck with this when I try it. But try to, there's like, I think, five different spawns you can get. And the best one is the one where... Uh, this second guy is walking towards you, uh, and the guy, the bottom guy is on the far right. Or this if you want to do this. But then you have, don't have the bomb, so... But the bomb isn't like really necessary. Like the only necessary part is the smoke, I think. The bomb makes it a lot easier, but even the smoke isn't necessary. This was this. Try to get like one of the. If you get one of the gunmen with the throwable, the others will come next to it. So that's good. If, oh fuck, I forgot to about this guy. But it's all about the first screen here. I'm getting used to the bonds. This was a bad spawn, but you can try to bait that guy. Either. Something like that. And then I guess. I should do like a 3 hour tutorial for this screen because it's fucking horrible. There's also some variations where you can just go downwards and like clear this room from bottom, like uh, exploding things from here. These guys will aggro down and you can get them from there or something. Oh, come on. fight first phase you need three hits and you want to rush him or her in the beginning and get one hit then go left kill the one gunman then deflect the bullet i guess i'm gonna try to show it in steps so skip this then roll fast hit go here kill this guy deflect that now the two shot guys will come from the middle uh, my strat is to wait for the left guy and wait for him to like come out and turn away from me and then try to hit him when you can. Then roll right and kill the second shield guy, then roll left because he will spawn there. So, oh, oops. Oop, accidentally hit right. Again. I guess I can try to show it fast. So this guy. Then go hit her. Hit this here. Gunman, and then see where he spawns and go hit her fast. It, that, that fight is pretty much all about the shield guys and not getting blocked, because if you miss your hit, they will kill you every single time. Last fight is... Uh, want to get fast hit? No. If, when you get the first hit, this threat will, threat will spawn. You want to go here, time this to get both of them, then go into the middle. And when you're in the middle, uh, well now I think I'm a bit late, but you want to just jump attack? Yeah, I'm, I was late. Fast hit, left, get the turrets. Middle, jump, get that hit. Then, this will be the final one. She will teleport around and do like lasers. You want to f wait for the first laser like there. Now jump on the left wall, delay a little bit so you get a little bit of height. Then jump away from the wall and then hit her when she spawns there, like this. Then roll towards the knife and then just throw it on the left. Show the one frame strat. Yes, uh, she comes. Uh, yeah, she comes out of the door in the previous phase uh, from the middle uh, line. 
if you're on the right of the middle, she will always come to the, from the left and so on. So it will always be the opposite side from the middle, uh, from where you are. So one more time this, fast hit, depending on the hits she does, I guess. I messed it up already. Both of these, go middle, jump, hit this, wait for this laser, jump to the wall, big laser, hit this, roll away to the knife and then hit, throw the knife. Then this part you want to aim downwards and hit so the head doesn't go like across the room. Now it just went to the next next to her. Sometimes it will like bounce around the room if you don't hit it downwards. I'm gonna show that fast. Like if you just hit spam and hit it like this, it will just go flying. Also there's a one way frame strat that saves like 1.8 seconds. I didn't get it. Like the moment she would oh, that was a bad spawn. Do it here. The moment she would teleport to the top middle, you can hit her in one frame. No. I want to show the useless strat for people to not do ever. Okay, I'm not gonna show that, but you can like, in the one frame that she's gonna teleport you, you can hit her. But that's like impossible because you have the delay with the sword hits and such. It saves 1.8 seconds if you get it. But yeah, that's the run. Pretty much. This fight was just like, oh, depending on the hits like this grenade hit, you can lob those grenades back at her. I was shooting them like upwards, what the fuck? Okay. Well, sometimes she shoots the grenades directly at you and you can just hit them back and do one damage. But this is just all about this, getting this hit. Also you have to do the turrets first because they can fuck you up. It is fairly easy when you like do it a couple of times. There's the man who failed it. Oops. Wait for that. No. Oh yeah, but yeah, that's it. I think there's more to it. I guess if someone wants to know more, you can always ask me or join the Discord or something. But yeah, that's the whole run. I think that was pretty... ...intensive, that's like almost two hours. <laughs> I think I covered everything. Except for dialogue. Well, golden ending dialogue I covered. But like... Uh, some faster dialogue options, like after club, in the psychiatrist, what the fucking words, thingy where you have to wait for the options. But yeah, that's it. Oh, and the run ends. Oops. The run ends immediately when this uh, room fades, but there's an auto splitter it will. I'm showing, come on. It ends here, that moment. But we have an auto splitter that does it for you. It, I'm not sure if it works on the dog version, but on the Steam version it works. And it ends on that frame where this uh, starts. And the timing starts at uh, the first input in the factory where you deflect the bullet. And it ends here. And golden ending ends when you die to the cops and it goes black. But yeah, that's, that's it. That's the tutorial for Katana Zero with the, all the current strats uh, for all stages and golden ending. Uh, I'll probably put the Discord link somewhere in the description as well for the video and you can always... It's working in cock version? Oh, sweet, nice. And the uh, auto splitter is on live split. You don't have to download it from anywhere. But yeah, just uh, I'll put the Discord links and such in the description of the YouTube video that I'm gonna make of this and uh, you can always come to my streams and ask about stuff or someone else's uh, speedrunning streams or just the Discord and such. But I hope this helped anyone who wanted to run this game. It's really one fun. I hope we get tons more of runners and yeah, that's it. I'm gonna cut it there.